We wanted to find out where the meat the wheat comes from, so we went on a journey to find out. The journey of the meat starts at a farm where the beef cattle live. Most of the meat to eat does not live in the wild but it is farmed. We went with Michael the butcher to meet Andrew the farmer. Hi Andrew, I brought along Rebecca and John to talk about your livestock. What sort of cattle do you have on the farm? Here on the farm we have pedigree short horn cattle. What sort of care do they need? The care the cattle need is very similar to with humans. They need warmth, shelter, feed and water. During the summertime, when the cows are at grass, I have to ensure the cows have enough lush green grass to eat and that their water troughs have fresh clean water in at all times. In the winter time, we have to provide the cattle with all their needs, from the bedding so that they have somewhere nice, clean and dry to lie on, through to the food to ensure that they have a good growth rate, because the feed also ensures that they are healthy and happy as well. We also have to make sure that there is enough water in the troughs for them to drink. The calf here was only born two days ago. The calf needs a lot more care and attention, so we are monitoring these a lot more than we do the adult cattle. Here on the farm, we calve twice a year, spring and autumn. This way, we can ensure that there is a constant supply of meat for the supermarket. When the beast is 18 to 24 months old, they are ready for processing into beef. This animal will now be put onto the trailer and will be taken to the abattoir. When the beef comes in from the slaughterhouse, it comes in in sections. We cut this to customers' requirements. They either want steaks, joints, for a Sunday roast. We have over 80 different cuts of meat prepared in store for just the way you like it. Our academy trained butchers are always on hand to give the best advice for cooking. When the carcass is broken down, everything is utilised. The bone goes for stock. We have shoulder braising, which makes casseroles which is stews, steak pies, mince, goes into lasagna, burgers. All the meats are used as prime cuts, so everything you get is good quality. Right guys, here we are, the finished product. Homemade lasagna, let's get stuck in.